you're a mom to three gorgeous, amazing young women. Thank you. And you're also an entrepreneur. Yes. How did this all come to be? <laughs> Apparently, I'm crazy. <laughs> no. Um, so I've always loved being in the spotlight and being in control and kind of organizing things. And that kind of started with dance. So I danced for about 20 years, um, African and Caribbean. Mm. And then that moved into kind of working behind the scenes in dance. So when we did productions, I would help in the office and kind of organize and help everything get pulled together. Then I'd be able to also dance on stage. It was kind of a love of both. And then I had babies. And when you have three babies under the age of five, you kind of realize that you got to let go of a few things. <laughs> so dance is one of those things. I got pushed to the side and then um, I did the mom life for a bit and then I got into weddings. So I did weddings for about three years and then again doing weddings when your youngest is three is a little time consuming. So again let that go, let that dream go, went back into work, I did property management, did schooling, um, just focused more on growing myself while I grew them. And now that they're old enough it's time to get back to what I love. So my company is called SP Events. So now we focus more along entrepreneur workshops, entrepreneur summits. We do women conferences, like leadership conferences, things along those lines. We also do Muay Thai fights and we do a lot of charity events as well. A single mom of three, full time yes. and your own business. Yes. So do you believe that balance can be achieved? I believe that balance is different for everyone. So I believe every household has a different form of balance. So I think balance for us is, um, I talked to them about this journey before we started this journey and they agreed this is something that they wanted to try. So incorporating them in the journey I find is my balance. So they help me even if it's taking pictures as we're doing shoots or registration tables or setups and teardowns or they understand if we're having a movie night that mom might need to work on her computer while we're watching a movie. but. Uh, they they work with me within the business, so then it's easier for them to understand when mom's gone for a weekend, they actually understand why, because they, they've lived, they've, they've been in it, they've seen it. So that's how we create balance right and, now. And we have that parallel. Um, yeah. I often bring my daughter with me. Uh, in fact, I needed to bring her to a recent shoot of yours yes. that I attended. And um, I feel like it's important to integrate them um, to show leadership and and also to f so that they feel invested yes we need to yeah we need to yeah. and um and i love that i feel like balance is different for everyone and that pendulum swings just depending on where you are sometimes in the day never mind the week yes right? in the hour yes <laughs> what are some of the biggest challenges you face as a single parent who runs her own business oh i think the mom guilt is probably the biggest mm. challenge i face like mm -hmm. i'm not giving them hashtag mom guilt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so real it is am i not giving them all that they need am i being too selfish in trying to grow a business and taking time away from them because realistically in growing a business especially in its first year you do have to cut back a lot financially and it would be hard for most children to understand that life is drastically going to change. So as a mom, that is a little like, but then I realize within the next two years and moving forward, it will be better. So I can handle this little bit of struggle now. What kinds of things do you guys like to do together? Ooh, <laughs> we love to eat. So we, <laughs> we cook and we bake a lot together. Um, it's winter, so we love movies. We're not big like skiers or ice skaters or we like warmth. <laughs> so <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. So we're we're very good and just communicating, singing in the car on the way to wherever we're going or just sitting down and having dinner and talking. Just I find lately it's just been a lot of them wanting to tell me about what's happening in their lives now. Mm -hmm. So that's basically how we connect in this present moment. Yeah. What is the best advice that you would give to women who are facing some of the same adversity or challenge? Oh my gosh, the best advice I've learned recently is don't give up. If it's something that you really love, find a way, make it work and pursue. If it gets hard, if it gets slow, if, as long as you know that end result, don't give up, keep pushing. So how do you find, or I've struggled through that to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to join us on our ride of our web series, Life of a Producer, 
then like and subscribe here. Right here. That's right. You got it.